Good morning and welcome to the Denver Celebration. We're so glad that you could be with us this morning. We have a treat for you today. We are going to talk about empowerment. We're going to talk about ownership. We're going to talk about walking in the truth of who you are, what God has given you, what you have access to, and how to make that a reality in your life. Now, we're going to be talking with author Scott Johnson and his wife, Deborah. And before we do, I wanted to read you a quote from their book that just really spoke to me. And we'll tell you about what we're talking about. It says, what God has for you is not just forgiveness of sin or the promise of a heavenly home, but it is what Jesus describes as living life in abundance. That's what I want for my life. I'm sure that's what you want for your back. Thank you for being with us this morning. We are going to talk with author Scott Johnson and his wife, Deborah, He has written a book called Empowered, Living Beyond Your Limitations. Um, I'm excited to interview him. I want to find out how to do that. Scott, welcome. Wow. Awesome to be here. We love it. I, I'm just so excited about this topic. In fact, when I saw the, the Superman dude, you know, opening his thing with the <laughs> empowerment, I'm like, yes, yes, I want to be empowered. So first of all, tell me about your ministry, what your heart is, and what's brought all this to pass. Well, basically, we're just unveiling the people who they really are and what God's created us to be and giving them permission to live. And so we do that mm. all over uh, whenever, every opportunity we can. We do it through the Internet. We do it. We went to Africa last uh, this last year, and mm. we do it there through conferences, seminars, write books, and we just use every avenue possible that we can find to be able to speak this powerful, dynamic message. Now, when you said give people permission, why do you think that we that we need permission? What what do we do to ourselves that that we hold ourselves back? Well, we conform ourselves to our present tense reality and what what's going on around us, and that's what we consider mm. our normal. That's our normal. And so we say, well, I can't be anything more than that. And so we go through our, our life, even as small children, looking for permission to take the next step when mm. God already has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Mm. Now, how do you move from being unempowered, I guess you would say, to, to being empowered? The title of your book, the, the message, how do you take that step? Well, it starts with taking ownership. And really, you think about it, uh, we're always looking for permission rather than, uh, you know, we've always, we've already, God's given us all things. When does that take place? When yeah. is that? Is that now or is that ne next week? Or is that ne next year? Mm. When does ownership take place? And a great story I love is if you were to stand in a parking lot mm -hmm. and you were going to ask for, you got, went up to somebody and you asked for the keys to the car. And you says, sorry, sir, step aside. Give me the keys. Those, this is my car. What would the owner, what would the car say? To the oh, they'd say no way. Absolutely. In fact, you could, if you continue to stand there and demand for him to give you the keys of the car, eventually some guys with a shiny star <laughs> yeah. would show up and take you away. 911, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So really, ownership is everything. And the man with the keys has the knowledge and the information. He knows without a doubt that's his car. In the same yes. way, if you stepped in front of an audience, 100 people, 1,000 people, and we were going to stand in front of that audience and say, look, there are my keys to my car are somewhere in this room. Please look around your feet and find those keys. And after a while, those hundred or so people would look around and they would say, uh, there's no keys here. It's not here. So, but then you demanded, you said, no, the keys to my car are in this room here. I want the keys to my car now. Please bring them to the front. You got the microphone. You said, please bring the keys to my car now. And eventually, they would take you out of the room by force. Yeah. <laughs> but, but see, we spend our entire life looking in the faces of people around us to give us ownership and to give us mm. the keys to the car, looking for permission. Am I valued? Am mm. I important? Do I, you know, please, please make yes. me feel significant so that I can take yes. the next step. But, you know, the, no, no one can hand you the keys to your car. Only you can hand you the keys to your car and take ownership of what God's already given you, present tense. Now, what are some of the things that we should be taking ownership of? What, what has God given us? He's given us everything, everything that pertains to life and godliness. What's that mean for you? Yeah. Like the video in the front of this when we first started here. What is empowerment to you? Could it, could it be uh, as far as a mother and taking the next step? Mm -hmm. Is it as a housewife? Is yes. it an employee? Is it uh, your own job? Your own, mm. your, you, you know, it doesn't have to have, it, it, it's, it's following the passion and the desire that's already on the inside of you. It's already there. You just need to discover it and begin to 
take the necessary steps to move toward it and know it's already yours. Well, and trust that those things are from him. Absolutely. You know, because Absolutely. so many times I think there's a passion or we feel a nudge or we want to try something. Think, Is that me? Is that God? Is that me? Is it God? And so you're just immobile. Permission. Permission. We already have permission to live life fully. And it's all about the green light. It's not about looking for red lights. Say, well, I'm looking for a green light. It's a green light. God has already mm. said, go and do it. It's like a blank check. He said, Absolutely. just go, just dream, just do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Now, is that what your book talks about? Empowered? Absolutely. Every, every page is filled with information nodule, set you free. Set you free. What, well, and that's what Christ came to do. Absolutely. He said, I came to, to set, set you free. Set you free. And uh, it's amazing, you know, we stay, we live a life that's disempowered and voices around us mm -hmm. try to disempower us when in fact God it says, I am for you, not to go get it. Let's go after this yeah. life, this incredible life and live it fully in every way that we possibly can. And so why do you think we hear those tapes in our heads that say, you can't, you shouldn't, you know, how can we silence those? Well, it's that imprinting. It's that imprinting that we grew up with. It's because of our world that conditions us. It's mm -hmm. like a seminar I went to recently and I went in to enter into this room and it wasn't what I learned inside the seminar room that was so valuable It's what I learned outside the room. Mm -hmm. When I walked up to the table to register there was a man sitting there he had a wheel he was in a wheelchair okay, okay? Right. and immediately the Lord the Holy Spirit spoke to me and showed me an image of me going up and kicking the wheel of his wheelchair and saying so when are you going to decide to get out of that thing? Oh, holy cow. And uh, <laughs> You're thinking, no, God, please don't make me do that. And I did. You did. And so I went up, and wow. I just out of the blue kicked the side of his wheelchair, and I said, so when are you going to decide to get out of that thing? You did. He looked at me. Fortunately, he didn't throw the papers yeah. or, you know. <laughs> and, and, and it was amazing because as I began to talk, we found out he was a good Catholic man. We began mm -hmm. to dialogue and mm -hmm. began to talk about that, that healing is his now present tense. And, and as I was talking to him, what happened is the Holy Spirit spoke to me while I was holding this conversation with okay. this man. And I suddenly realized that the Holy Spirit set me up. You know why? Why? Because he asked me, the Holy Spirit said, so when are you, he said, Scott, so when are you going to get out of your wheelchair wow. of poverty? Wow. And the next day, I mean, it was such an emotional oh, experience. I, you realized that you were crippled, I'm crippled. as well, even though crippled. you weren't in a physical wheel Absolutely. wheelchair. You were in a wheelchair of your own making. So if that's all we've ever known, and I don't know what mm. our listeners, the wheelchairs that they're facing, yes. but that's their normal. This is all there is. But if that's all you ever knew, how do you know what could be different? Yeah. Well, and that's what faith. I hope you found this video as informative. If you would like to learn more, just go to my webpage at www.52lifelessons, that's 52lifelessons.com, and I'll tell you how you can start receiving 52 Life Lessons each and every week. These short messages are sent directly to your email box and will inspire you to live a more fruitful and productive life. You can also download a limited copy of my new book, Empowered, How to Move the Boundary Lines of Your Life, as well as my free ebook, From Zero to Wealth, How to Create Something from Nothing. Thank you, and I'll see you there.